But keep it to yourself. People don't need to know it. Hey, you! What should I keep in mind when I'm in the mine? Beware of the mine crawlers. The further you get down, the closer you get to the beasts. Those rotten creatures come directly from Beliar's realm. You can hear them scraping and scratching. They're sitting in the dark just waiting for you. I've seen them kill. They're merciless and fast. If you enjoy being alive, you shouldn't be down here. You better go before something happens to you. Can you tell me anything about the mine? Well, this part we're standing in now is the main shaft. A system of catwalks takes you down to the bottom. And they're digging for ore everywhere. But you need to be careful. There are many mine crawlers there as well. Right at the bottom is the smelting place. We're smelting a part of the ore to use it right there. Tell me more about it. If you want to know more, go to Viper. He's the smelter. Or talk to Ian. He's the boss. He organizes everything here in the mine. Where can I find Ian? He's right in the middle of the main shaft, next to the storeroom. Oh, one more thing. You know Thoris, don't you? Forget him. There's just one person who has the say in here, and that's Ian. He's the boss. If you get into trouble with him, you'll be in trouble with us all. Understood? What do I need to look out for in the mine? Mine crawlers, mainly. Dangerous beasts. We've had to give up a few caves because of them. They've eaten quite a few diggers, too. Tell me about the crawlers. Oh, but my tongue's so dry. You bring me a beer, and I'll tell you something about the crawlers. Here, drink to my health. Thanks. Well, crawlers live in large packs, mostly in the side caves. They've never attacked us here in the main shaft yet. If you ever meet one of them, run. Or stand with your back to the wall. That way you may stand a chance. See ya. Can I trade things with you? I have everything you need. What I don't have is no use to you anyway. What are you Templars doing in the mine? We're hunting for mine crawlers. Go back to the camp. You'll be safe there. Why do you hunt the crawlers? For their mandibles. They contain a valuable secretion. What kind of secretion? A poison. Only our guru Korkalam knows how to brew potions with it. 
Who is Kor Kalam? One of the most powerful men in the whole Brotherhood. He knows many secrets. He can control other people's thoughts. Apart from that, he's an alchemist. He brews potions so he can make spiritual contact with the sleeper. Just go down to the camp. We're always looking for people. I'll think about it. See you later. May the sleeper awaken. What are you doing here? I'm watching diggers like snipes over there to make sure they keep their hands off my chest. How's things? I have a deal to suggest. If you make Aaron leave the chest alone, I'll give you ten ore. I'll see you later. Yeah, sure. Hey, you! Ian sent me. You should go to see him at once. What does he want? No idea. Ian will tell you that himself. Do you think he'd tell me something like that? Then I'll go to see him. You owe me ten ore. Yeah, you've already earned the ten ore. Oh, and one more thing. I have the key to his chest as well. For you, only thirty ore. Give me the key. You made good business there. I just wonder what you get out of it. I'm always glad when I can get one over on the guards. And if they found the content of the chest with me, I'd be a dead man. I'll see you later. Yeah, sure. What's in the storeroom? That's none of your business. Standing around for so long must make you thirsty. You bet, man. I could use a good swig now. Got anything on you? Here you go. Have one on me as well. Thanks. Is there anything special in the storeroom now? Some chests that we store supplies in. The keys disappeared, though. Disappeared? 
I bet Aleph was involved. That guy can't be trusted. Hey, you! <laughs> the guards will never get me. What do you mean? I only work when the guards are nearby, or they can see me. Otherwise, I just hang around here. Don't they get suspicious? Yeah, well, of course I dig less ore than all the others do. It's not always enough, so I have to do a bit of trading. I keep my ears open, so I get to know many useful things. You don't happen to have some ore on you. Let's say about 10 ore. All right, here's 10 ore for you. Thanks. If you go to the main shaft and follow the catwalks further down, you'll soon get to two side caves. There's a guard in the second one, and there's also an old masher. There's a healing potion lying about somewhere. But be careful, and beware of the crawlers. And if you need or hear something, come back to me. I'm sure I'll be able to help. Have you got any other useful information? Sure. Have you got ten ore? I expect good information for my ore. There's loads of locked chests here. Glenn, the digger at the top, can get you a couple of lock picks. Do you know anything about the key for the chest in the storage shed? Well, that depends. On how much ore I'll give you? You learn fast. Fifty ore should be more than enough for you. Very generous. Here's the key. And take this ring as well. It's always brought good luck to me. Good luck. Well, you know where to find me. Hey, you!
Listen, Ian and the others are sitting at the bottom, having grilled meat. What? Without me? Well, I'll collect my share. Hey, you! If you try to make a fool out of me again, you've had it! You got that? Hey, don't you miss the key to your chest? Indeed. I don't even want to guess how or why you know about the key. But I'll give you 20 ore if you get it back for me. Here's your key. Yeah, that's it. Well, here's your 20 ore, like we agreed. But you'd better watch out in future. From now on, I'll be keeping an eye on you. Hey, you, there was no grilled meat at all. Oh, um, I guess I must have been mistaken. Have a good day. Are you Ian, the boss of the mine? Yeah, I'm Ian, and this is my mine, so don't touch or break anything. Isn't that Gomez's mine? Yeah, of course, this is the mine of the old cat. But in here, there's only one boss, and that's me. Tell me about the mine. If you want to look around here, you need to be careful. There are mine crawlers in the caves. You better stay in the main shaft, and leave the Templars alone. Even if they only hang around most of the time, they're the best fighters you can ever have at your side when it comes down to the crawlers. I'll keep that in mind. I have some work to do, and don't keep my boys from doing their work. I'll just have a look around here. Can you tell me something about the ore production here? We dig for ore day and night. This means a storage of 200 sacks per month, and another 20 sacks which will be melted down. Hundreds of blades can be forged with the ore we supply to the gang. I've heard that the ore has magical qualities. Tell me about it. The magic ore does have special qualities. Weapons forged from it don't break. Their blades are sharper than usual ones. An army equipped with these weapons has a decisive advantage in battle. Tell me more about the ore. Unfortunately, the magic powers of the ore vanish during the smelting process. They know the right smelting technique in the blast furnaces of Nordmar. But even without the magic powers, weapons made from this ore are extremely resistant and do more damage than normal weapons. Diego sent me. I'm to collect the list. All right. Here's the list. Tell him to hurry up with the deliveries.
Thank you. 